Oh, yes. Give yourself a round of applause, everybody. Very nice. We're warming up. We got our vocal cords going. We already hit a high note. We got the drums. All right. What is the title of the next song, everybody? Wake Me Up Before You Go-Go. Wake Me Up Before You Go-Go. Who's it by? We got that one. Wham. It's by Wham. Yes. Last time someone was like, it's called Jitterbug. I was like, no, no, no. Good morning, YouTube. Today is my last sea day of the cruise. Uh, we are sailing to Galveston right now from Cozumel. And it's a beautiful day outside. Uh, it is 9.17. I slept in a little bit today. And I am meeting some friends for sea day brunch. So, gonna go grab that at 9.30, and then we'll just see what happens today. I'm gonna grab my purse, grab my sail and sign card, and I am out the door. We will show you today's activities when we do them. See you soon. Okay, the sea day brunch is the 12 hour French toast with peaches on top, and these are my hash browns and bacon. Uh -huh. So we're gonna enjoy breakfast with some friends this morning. Okay guys, I haven't really recorded much today. Um, I have been spending time with friends, doing fun things on the boat, but I just came back to my room to get ready for dinner. And this was my amazing little thing. Little heart, which is really nice. It's a thank you card. But no gift tonight. I don't know what the deal is. We didn't get an ultra gift tonight. I've looked all around the room and there's not one, so. Anyway, getting dressed. I'll try to uh, video my dinner tonight at the steakhouse. Gotta get ready now. Okay, I just arrived at the steakhouse. This is my view. I get to look at the ship. But this is Fahrenheit 555, the steakhouse on the Carnival Vista. And this is my table. Okay, anyway, as I was saying before the waiter interrupted me, um, I am eating, of course, by myself tonight. I had this reservation for me and my cousin Paula, who isn't here. And I'm gonna have the jumbo cocktail shrimp for appetizer. For dinner, I'm gonna do the surf and turf, which is a lobster tail and filet mignon. And I'm gonna do it with a baked potato and the mac and cheese. And then for dessert, I believe I'm gonna have the cheesecake. That's what I'm thinking. So anyway, um, it's a beautiful restaurant in here. I love that I can people watch out the window and I'm looking forward to eating it. Okay, and we started off with bread. That's a pretzel stick. And I don't know what he called the other one, but anyway, there's butter and some, I believe, I don't know what that is. <laughs> I'm not a food connoisseur. But anyway, I'm ready to dive in. It's been a long time since I ate. Okay guys, I just got my food. Uh, it's a lobster. I can't really tell that that's a lobster, but it's a lobster. And I'm in yawn, just one second. And mac and cheese and a big potato. So I'm gonna be digging. All right, I just had my dessert. Well, I'll tell you. And I just got my dessert. It is chocolate with pear and something else, but it looks amazing. He just poured the hot chocolate on top of the sphere and it sunk in. It looks amazing. I'll let you know how it was. Okay, guys, this is the last night of the cruise. And I'm sitting listening to some amazing music. I'm about to go to bed on my last night of the cruise. It's really sad leaving, but I really need to get home. Um, I just went to the casino for two drawings, and of course I didn't win anything again. 
I didn't win anything on this cruise except for the gifts that they gave us, which were daily gifts in the room and then 500 in free play that I took instead of taking the speakers or the fan that I won. Anyway, it was a great cruise overall. I loved it. It was so nice being out on the water. I did hear somebody talk while ago that there may be a COVID case on our ship, which doesn't surprise me because I just heard the Celebrity Edge had seven cases on their ship. So by the time you see this, COVID could be rampant and everybody could be wearing masks again. I don't know. This is, I don't know when this will air. I'll try to get it out pretty soon. But anyway, I'm so glad I got to experience this cruise mask free socially distancing free and with just you know everybody being vaccinated it was it was so much fun i loved it but guys my cousin is fighting for his life in the hospital right now with covid and that has been on my mind this whole cruise i've been praying and praying for my cousin to be okay he has been like a brother to me my whole life. And, and I need God to heal him. So please, Lord, please heal Brian. He needs you so bad. And guys, if you'll pray for him too, by the time this video comes out, I hope he is out of the woods and home with his family. But if not, Lord... Oh, you know, I, I, I just need you guys, if you can, if you're, if you pray, if you believe in God, please pray for my cousin. He needs it. Anyway, that's, that's been on my mind the whole time I've been here. So anyway, um, I just want to thank you guys for watching my videos and for watching the series. Um... We'll see how it goes. I hope I can edit it properly and make it enjoyable for you guys. So anyway, I'm going to go to bed. I got to get up in the morning at 7 and deal with some stuff with guest services. And then hopefully get off the boat and drive home. Anyway, I will talk to you all soon. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and please hit the like button too. Thanks a lot. I'll see you guys soon. Good morning. Oh my goodness, it's the last day of our cruise. We are approaching the Galveston port. And it looks kind of over, it looks kind of rainy today. Anyway, I'm gonna head up to the Lido, uh, grab some breakfast real quick, and then go meet with guest services. And hopefully then I will be getting off the boat. All right. I'll probably talk to you guys on my way on my drive home. See ya. Guys, we are almost docked. We're pulling up to the dock right now. I'm grabbing some breakfast in the Lido. It did rain, so everything's wet. But we are almost back to Texas. Okay, guys, we are docked. Uh, I didn't realize we were docked. I thought we had to go the other side, but we are docked and we are delayed in departing a little bit. We can't get off until nine o'clock and right now it's 825. So I'm just sitting in my room. My bags are right there ready to go, but a miracle happened and I wanted to tell you guys about it. But I'm going to turn the camera around. I'm going to pause it, turn the camera around, and I'm going to tell you guys my miracle. Okay, guys, I'll be honest with you. I overspent on this cruise. Overspent what I could spend. And I was really worried because I was about $600 over what I had in my accounts. And I didn't know how I was going to pay it and I've been stressing about it most of this cruise. And they had told me to come to guest services on Saturday morning and we would work something out. So I've been worried about that. I haven't slept well. I've been thinking about that $600, but you know what guys? I've been praying about it too. 
and I've been praying a lot this week. I had people praying for me about it. I don't know what happened. I went to guest services this morning and I told them, I need to talk to you guys about the $600 I owe and figure out how we can do a payment plan or something to get it paid. They said, ma'am, your bill is paid in full. Completely paid in full. I don't know what happened, but guys, I'm praising God. I'm so happy. So anyway, I'm getting off this boat and I'm going home. We'll talk to you guys soon. Hey guys, I'm in the Liquid Lounge. I think that's it, the Limelight Lounge. I don't know, I get these two confused. Anyway, waiting to get off the boat. And they're kind of delayed this morning. They're only letting people off right now that have their luggage. So we're waiting. And my ticket is number five. So I'm just waiting for them to call my number and I'll get off the boat. It is about a little after 9 o'clock in the morning on Saturday, July 31st. Hey guys! Okay, I am on I-45 headed towards Houston, Texas. I left the boat a little while ago. I want to go ahead and do a wrap-up of my cruise. I had an amazing time on the boat. I met so many people on this trip. I want to definitely give a shout out to Janelle and Carrie. They included me in everything. Uh, Mahogany Bay, I sat and talked to them on the beach. That's when I met them. Then we went to Mr. Sancho's together. Uh, in Cozumel, and then we had Sea Day brunch together on Friday. Janelle has already texted me today to make sure I got off the boat okay, and they'll just become lifelong friends. I'm so glad I got to meet them. Um, let me tell you, let me tell you my cousin Paula's story, because I think you guys need to know this. Uh, she got COVID two days before my cruise and couldn't go with me. Um, she was fully vaccinated. She went to a, an event and basically like I think 10 people maybe got COVID from that event. The bad thing is her brother got COVID, was not vaccinated. Right now he's in the ICU. And we are praying like crazy that he is healed completely. So that was a really good reason that Paula did not need to be on this cruise. Could you imagine finding out your brother's in ICU and you're on a cruise ship and can't get home? So I just thank God for not putting her on that boat. And then another thing that happened to her, her dog yesterday morning had a seizure and fell off the bed with the seizure. He has multiple seizures all the time and is on medication. But he went out of the room. She thought to go get water, but instead he went through the doggy door, went down to the lake, and somehow got in the lake and drowned. And she lost her dog. I can't even imagine what she is going through right now. I love her so much and I feel so bad for her. I mean, here we were pretty much crying over her missing the cruise. Come to find out, it was the biggest blessing she could have had by missing this cruise. And I overspent this cruise. I was not smart with my money. too much in the casino which I can't do anymore I can't do it I'm a single woman I have taken off a year to travel when I get home I have to get a job and get back to the real world the real world is not traveling every month and playing slot machines I have got to go back to work I'm still gonna have this channel I'm still going to do whatever I can to keep it going. 
and I have enough videos to last me probably two months of posting for you guys and I might go to two or three times a week instead of every day like I do right now but space them out a little bit more and make them last a little longer because I don't know if I can get in the casino in the next two months I, I just don't know for you slot lovers that didn't come here for a cruise video, you came here to hear about slots. They were so tight. I literally was betting 50 cents on the one cent denom. And I had 120 spins at 50 cents. I put $60 in. Got one bonus for about $6. That's just, I mean, that's on Dragon Link. I couldn't hit anything on Dragon Link. Um, I did play some blackjack while I was there, and I'm very good at with blackjack and at blackjack. I know when to quit. I know when it gets bad to leave the table. I know when it's good to continue to increase your bet, and you'll win a lot of money. Um, I, I also, when I double my money, I leave the table or I no I don't leave the table I put it in my purse when I when I doubled my money or more I put it in my purse and I don't touch it I play what I have that's left um, if I get another up another hundred I'll tell the dealer to put the chips into a hundred dollar chip I put that in my purse I do that most of the time I end up leaving the table if I've bought in with a hundred I leave the table with five hundred dollars I'm a very smart blackjack player and I'm hoping I can do a lot more blackjack videos on this channel because it's what I love to play and I want to be able to continue to do blackjack anyway I think that is it and guys also one more thing I want to tell you because I just got off the phone with slot drop mark 444 you're not following him you need to follow him May amazing friend to me mark is great he's in california i'm in texas but great friend um he's been trying to help me with my videos for some reason they've been recording in 360. i changed it to 720 and for some reason it keeps reverting back to 360. so i want you guys to know i'm sorry for that i am working on it he walked me through some stuff he's gonna send me some emails with pictures to show me and he told me to look it up on youtube it'll tell you what to do so anyway i'm gonna do that when i get home this one i made sure it's recording in 720. i saw the i see the little 720 in the corner anyway it's been a great cruise i love sharing it with you guys i hope you enjoyed it and hopefully i can do another one soon i have one booked in september but i don't know if i'm gonna go because i don't know if i'll have the money to do it or the time off because hopefully i'm getting a job yeah so pray for me for that i want the best nursing job i can get by the way if you don't know i'm a registered nurse and so hopefully i can get a really good job that i enjoy anyway love you guys uh please subscribe to the channel if you can we are so close to Goodness, I think 1,800 now. Can't even believe I'm saying that. 1,800 subscribers. Anyway, please like the video as well.